Colleagues, this week Donald Trump signed another executive order blocking immigrants from several Muslim-majority countries as well as all refugees. Following the chaos, confusion, and thankfully legal failure of Trump's first travel ban, this latest version narrows the scope slightly in order to pass judicial review. However, the new Muslim ban is just as immoral, xenophobic, and dangerous as the first. It is a blatant attempt to ban Muslims from entering the country, as Trump explicitly, repeatedly said during his campaign, using fear and anxiety to drive a wedge in our community and scapegoat our neighbors is a betrayal of American and Oregonian values. And furthermore, there is no evidence that this executive order will make us any safer. In fact, many experts believe it will serve as a recruitment tool for those who wish to do us harm. Colleagues, remember the scenes that unfolded in airports and communities across the country when Trump's first hastily written unconstitutional Muslim ban went into place. Families were torn apart. People who had a legal right to be here were detained in airports for days. Remember the face of refugees who are blocked from finding solace in America. We are talking about families and children fleeing violence, danger, and persecution that most of us will never be able to comprehend. Their lives have become a waking nightmare filled with terror. Like us, these parents want, a, want their kids to attend a good school, grow up healthy, and have a family. They couldn't have imagined, even just a few years ago, to think that they'd have to worry about their children being killed or maimed in a bombing or captured and tortured by death squads. As the richest nation in the world, we have a moral obligation to welcome well-vetted refugees and give them hope and opportunity here. Immigrants and refugees have added such richness to the cultural and economic fabric of our state and our country. In what feels like a lifetime ago, leaders on both sides of the aisle stood up to denounce Trump's Muslim ban as un-American and not what this country is about. Now that this reality is upon us, I hope that leaders across the country from every political persuasion will continue to give voice to the common sense and moral truth about these actions. Colleagues, over the course of human civilization, we've been down this road before, including several times just in the last century, and it doesn't end well. We must do everything in our power to stop history from repeating itself. Thank you.